My experience about working with most of the first team players at United, as soon as you show them you've got something to add to their game, the only difference is you, you need to be work uh, more specifically, quicker related to their positions they play to. But of all the players I've worked with, they've all, they've all benefited from it. Fantastic. Is there some that you can mention that particularly benefited from it? <clears throat> A uh, couple of examples, obviously I think you need to, eventually the, the more attacking forward playing midfielders and attackers yes. needs to have the most technical attributes, you know, to, to create chances and score goals to go past all these defenders. But even I've worked with Wes Brown in the right back position, with uh, Gary Neville in the right back position, if there's no opportunities to pass the ball forward, unless you just hoof it forward and it's not going anywhere, why not use a stop turn or a Cruyff turn to keep possession and change the angle of attack? Midfield players, Michael Carrick, Scholes, you know, he's a fantastic player anyway, but sometimes just to change that angle of attack quickly can open up uh, fantastic uh, attacking avenues on the other side of the pitch. Ruud van Nistelrooy, Jager Forlan, um, even Ryan Giggs, all of them, all of them we work with and just open up Cristiano Ronaldo, not to forget him, uh, although he was a very talented player with a lot of tricks. Uh, he really bought into the more functional sort of techniques, right. you know, running at players, flicking in behind and, and really do damage to, to the opponent defence. Right. Uh, when, when you talk about Cristiano, especially, he liked that change of movement, the kind of Cruyff turn on the run, if yeah, you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was something that I hadn't seen from yeah. my curver background. Did you look at that move and think, OK, this is something that maybe you could add to his game? Yeah, yeah, because obviously what I do is, like, back to looking at specifically, what, Re what Ronaldo uh, 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 gets... In, situ in, in one v one situations, a lot is whether he's meeting defenders front on, yes. or they come at an angle. Now, this is a typical move you could use at an angle. So, what we sometimes teach young kids with, just roll it, you know, from an angle in, in front of your other uh, body. I said, well, if if there's a better way in doing it quicker, mm -hmm. you know, like maybe chopping it, mm -hmm. you know, on the run, mm -hmm. um, you know, it would be even better. Right. So he, he's tried that, he rolled it, he, he rolled it quicker, but then he came, you know, by the fact, by, by chopping it, he's really good at it. And he's, you know, he's done it ever since. Right. And, and when you look at Nani as well, he seems to have a lot of the similar technical qualities to Cristiano. Is, is that something that was <clears throat> natural with him or have you worked with him specifically as well? On well, the one thing you need to understand is, I think, as a football coach, first and foremost, everything that is natural hmm. is always better than it's been put onto somebody right. because people will learn and develop quicker. And both Nani and Cristiano are very natural, gifted, technical players. Um, on top of using the skill as a decision making mm -hmm. with, with both of the players that had to improve in that aspect. Right. Um, Nani really performed a little bit into the shade of Cristiano and now he's stepping out of it, mm -hmm. you know, which is good. You can see it, he's more confident, he's making better decisions, mm -hmm. but he is a very skillful lad and 